Welcome to another episode of Dirty Daily. In this episode, we finish pulling the automatic transmission out and get the torque converter off. So to get the shift linkage off, we have these two bolts right here that bolt into, uh, I guess, the part that's on the inside. So we're going to PB the crap out of those, put some cardboard under here so we're not laying in it, um, and then this bracket will pop off. And then over here, we're going to PB this and uh, pull off this back nut so we can slide this cable through. And then we should be able to just lift this up and get it off. And I unscrewed this end piece, and then I unscrewed this piece all the way off so that it could slide off and slide out from there. So that's loose. Um, now we can shift it up in the cockpit into like third or first or whatever uh, Just to move this over and we'll be able to pull it out the top So we'll do that now So I push that back and pull it up And it'll come right out It's pretty cool. I doubt I'll find somebody who wants to put an automatic into a manual so most of this stuff is going to be garbage. Let me know if you want it and uh, we can get it to you. Anyway, now you got a big hole. And we are ready to um, disconnect the rest of everything down below. And uh, drop that transmission. So we have three bolts left. We have the, the bottom bolt on the starter and the two um, studs the just nuts we pull off and then that big old this big old connector right here Pow. Um, we also need to unplug this guy boom um, that stuff's bolted to the engine this one though so you can unbolt that flange down there or just pop it off like that and uh, let it hang okay let's get underneath and drop that stuff so right in there that's one of our bolts we need to pull off There's one of the bolts we need to pull off. And then down on the other side, right there, we need to pull that off. Now, to make it easier to get to those, I'm gonna pull out these pins. So, oh, my bolts are going. So you get a quarter inch punch, shove it up in there and hammer them out. And then you'll be able to just slide it off. So we also um, need to pull these transmission lines off. So just a screwdriver or like an 8. It might be smaller than an 8. It looks smaller than an 8. And I'm going to actually pull those all the way out just to get free up some more space. So that bolt right there is going to come off. Um, and then those hose clamps. And uh, that will... Those go up to the, the transmission oil cooler that's in the radiator. And so we're going to take those off and totally gut them out of the car because this is never going back to a automatic okay i've just finished pulling everything off that i can tell needs to come off to drop the transmission um, so i got that bolt off and i got that bolt off and there's no more pins in uh, the cv axles starter bolt off and I pulled out all of the other um, these transmission cooler lines I pulled them out from the front starting at the radiator all the way back to uh, right there you can see those but there's nothing else at the end of those um, so that should come out just fine I'm gonna pull the starter out from up top because the uh, 
transmission fill tube is in the way to get the starter out from the bottom. So we're going to uh, take it out from the top and uh, then we're going to grab a pry bar and start pulling this thing out. Stick a, uh, well I guess, yeah, we'll stick the, the jack up underneath here and then undo uh, those three and those three and it should just come right out. And that's it. Pretty sweet. I'm excited. Well, whatever. I'll get it out once the transmission's out. You're trying to separate the CV? Yeah, so I got this one off. I think I need to like see if I can push the transmission that way at all. Can you get back here on the Maybe back of the jack? The wheels. As well, but yeah, push it in the nose. Oh, okay. This is a little full. No, it needs a lot more than just that. Okay, get on the back of the jack then. Yeah. Sweet. All right. Well, I think now it should be able to drop down and get pushed back. Drop it down. Real, real slightly. Okay. Is it coming at all? Not yet. There, there it goes. Keep going. Holy cow, I'm so close. Okay, uh, stop it. There we go. She's free. Leaking some juice on me, but. Okay. Lower it. Um, yeah. So it's got to go back a little bit so it can clear the Whoop. okay it should be able to go down now there's your blows okay. <laughs> and there goes that other axle too nice okay Whoo. that's so huge Okay, so before I put the transmission back in, I wanted to test check this um, transmission mount right here, and it does fit. So this is what the transmission mount should look like for your Legacy. Um, I was kind of stressed about it not fitting, but it does. So the way to get it to fit and bolt in, so the lower ends come up right here and bolt in. We bolt into those two and don't use that one. Then over here, this is what it looks like stock. So. <laughs> Right next to this, we have this black plastic piece, and underneath that is where we need to mount our transmission cross member. So, you just pop those out, and there are threads underneath it. So, now, um, I'm going to just use both of these and plug them back in 
in these holes that we're not going to use because we're not going to use them so might as well we are ready to go I'm gonna roll that transmission over and bolt on the new transmission cross member because the one that's on it right now is just from a Impreza so, so that should work we're going we're getting close I'm pulling off this transmission mount that is for a Impreza and all you have to do to get it off you don't have to worry about any of these because that'll probably trick you so um, to get it off for real there's four bolts just right here on the transfer case uh, they're 14s those are what you want obviously you can see how much flex there is in this so upgrading to a group N I think is what they're called Anyway, polyurethane, um, transmission mount, or even a solid mount would be nice if you're running a lot of torque so that it doesn't twist. Because really, that's got a lot of play in it. A lot of give. Uh, it is a 23-year-old mount, though. So Okay, so we're going to do that. Okay, I got the correct cross member bolted up, just those four bolts. Um, it's still pretty wiggly, um, but most of that is just because on the manual cross members, they aren't connected, strangely enough. So, now that we have our cross member on, I'm just trying to finish up everything I need to um, before I get this thing back up in the car and so what we're gonna do now is swap out our uh, throw out bearing so when you pull the clutch the clutch cable moves this back and forth just like that and this release throw out bearing sits and rides on the pressure plate so even when the engine is turning and you have the clutch in, this pushes up against those um, little fingers on the pressure plate and releases the pressure on it. But your throw out bearing is what is sitting up against that and taking all of the power from the engine. So you're not supposed to ride your clutch because when you ride your clutch, what that means is just you sit around, you drive a lot with your foot on the clutch you're in stop and go traffic and you never put it into neutral you just keep your foot on the clutch the whole time or you're like you're going down a hill and you're coasting and speeding up and you just keep your foot on the clutch the whole time you do you don't want to do that you really want to shift into neutral otherwise your throw out bearing can go bad prematurely because this is this is what's taking all of the power while your clutch is engaged or disengaged however you want to think of it when you have your clutch pedal down your throw out bearing is what's dealing with all of that torque and everything so you always want to replace the throw out bearing when you're doing a clutch job even if it spins nice or whatever because really if you do have a throw out bearing go no one wants to pull the transmission and engine apart just to replace this little piece when it's a relatively cheap piece to replace to get this thing off it has these like paper clip kind of things and you pull off the paper clippies and you gotta look on this side it's going up and on the other side it's going down so we're gonna pull it off the back like that and same over here on the other side and then that throw out bearing just pulls it right off and sometimes this snout here this snout can be bad it's worn or something and you can buy specific clutch kits that have uh, a snout cover it just slides over the top of this and then it, the release bearing is larger to accommodate for that extra snout and I've never had to deal with that I've never seen one that's bad um, but apparently it is a thing so uh, you also want to grease this up a little bit your clutch kit should come with some grease so you just want to grease that and then slide on your bearing so there's our brand new one and our old one. Our old one's all rusty. 
Brand new one is nice. Um, this has very slight play front to back. And this one has nothing, and it spins really freely. It's really nice. And so then, your kit comes with a little bit of lube. You only need a little tiny bit. So we're just gonna do that, and then wipe it around with my finger. You really don't wanna use too much because you don't want it flinging around and getting on your clutch disc, because that is how you get a slippery clutch that wears out really quick. Actually, go ahead and remove this out from there so this slides on okay so you just take this paper clip looking thing you slide the lower piece into the hole on your shift fork it's right there on the back then you just pull this back and up over both of them just like that and that's all it is on both sides they're really fragile, they break really easy, so watch out for that. It really doesn't feel like it's on there, but it is, so don't worry. Okay, to get the uh, torque converter off without having to pull off your intake, you do have to pull off a couple of things, but not anything close to your intake. So the easiest would be, uh, I guess to give you the most space would be to pull off your throttle body. Um, that would give you a ton of space, which would be nice. So instead I just removed um, these three connectors, throttle, position sensor, um, I don't even know where the other ones went now, I can't see them. Anyway, pull those three off and move this loom out of the way. You're obviously going to pull out your window plate, whatever. Pull this guy out. And then down here is a coolant hose. It's right here now. So you pull that back and slide that off and then just kind of shove it up out of the way. Like that, so it stays like that. Then you should have enough space to get a small ratchet in there kind of tricky to get it seated on there just with the angle it's at. Do this before you take the transmission out and keep it in park <laughs> would be the easiest. So I was able to get them off pretty easily actually without even needing the breaker bar on the front. So you stick your ratchet on like that and then you turn this back slightly until it butts up, your ratchet butts up against the side of the window so the ratchet stops the torque converter from turning or the socket does but the ratchet can still move and so you can break it free and you can stick a extension or breaker bar on that but then after you pop them once they lose their torque they're really easy to get off and you can just use your finger this is my last one so, when it's off, my torque converter should be free. There it went. Now, we're gonna break loose all of these flex plate bolts. And an easy way to do that is to get a super fat screwdriver or an extension or something. And ram it through one of these holes and then through the window just like that because then when you go and you put tension on the rest of it this guy will butt up against the window and will lock it so that you can actually unbolt those flex plate bolts flex plate and then I can bolt on the flywheel bolt on my new uh, clutch kit and the pressure plate and then get that manual transmission up in here I'm excited it's we're really close now thanks for watching hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future episodes